Next is from uh, Ultra Frog. Uh, Subject is warrior stories. Hey guys, I know you guys have been asked and answered many, many questions about warrior behind the scenes at WCW, but I was wondering, Conan, do you happen to have any dealings with warrior during your WWE run as Latin lover and Max Moon? I sometimes listen to Ted DiBiase's podcast. He said that at times That's warrior. Latin back lover. Then, yeah, it's second like, Latin yeah, lover yeah. for sure. Yeah, he did. Okay, you know what? That was never my name, even though I was. I know. It's just misinformation. Bang. <laughs> Let's give some mis- yellow flag for mis- yellow card for misinformation. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so at times, Warrior back then could be such a horrible person to people that most of the guys in the locker room couldn't tell if they were being ribbed or not. Conan, do you have any early 90s memories of Warrior being a... Or if not, any memories of him at all in the WWE era? Okay, we've talked about this a couple of times. You can go... What would they just put? Hashtag Warrior or what? Uh, Joe? Sorry. Well, I'm gone. Sorry. Go ahead. Did you not hear the question? Yeah, I, well, I didn't hear yours. I heard the email. Okay, so uh, I we've talked about Warrior before. Yes. If they look mm-hmm. in the archives, do they put hashtag Warrior or what? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so so usually you'll have that separate. If you go into lists, there will be a whole section of all Warrior related emails and answers that came in. Okay, KC doesn't know who he usually is. Where is that? YouTube, right? Uh, keeping it 100 official on YouTube, yes. And you can but I will there. say this. I did see him cut one of the best promos I've ever seen anybody cut on uh, on their boss. He cut a promo that had to be heard to be believed on Vince McMahon. So before in WWE, they had they used to have like these sound boots. They kind of looked like a porta potty but they were kind of like – you know, um, insulated so you could do promos in there and you couldn't hear the noise outside and vice versa. And bro, he cut a beautiful promo on him and he was like, yeah, warrior, you know, it's okay if you're tired. He goes, because I'm not doing, he was like, okay, dude, just, you know, I understand you're tired. And I was like, and uh, he would, he would wear a jacket that said ultimate warrior with a picture airbrushed of him in the airport. And I actually asked him once, so it was one of my first shows and I actually asked him where was the arena and he told me to. F- and what was funny is that then when he went to WCW, he talked to me like, he was like, Hey, K dog, what's up? K dog. I was like, what? 